Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, we will start with a very simple substitution. What we are going to do is that we will replace x plus 1 with 10 to the power d plus 2. Of course, you know that 10 is the common base of these two logarithms and 2 is from the coefficient of x on the right hand side. Now, of course, you know that from here we have that x is equal to 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 1. Now, when we rewrite the original equation, we have x, that is 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 1 times log 10 to the power d plus 2 plus log 10 to the power d plus 2 and this is equal to 2 times x which of course is equal to 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 1. Now look at this and look at that and remember that log to base a of a to the power b is equal to b. Here we have log to base 10 of 10 to the power d plus 2. So, of course, this whole thing is equal to d plus 2. The exact same thing happens here. So, this equation is simply 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 1 multiplied by d plus 2 plus d plus 2 is equal to 2 times this. That is 2 times 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. Now, when you look at these two terms, you're going to see a common factor, which is d plus 2. So, here we have d plus 2 into, now this times this, divided by d plus 2, is going to leave us with 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 1. And of course, this divided by d plus 2 is going to give us plus 1. And this is equal to 2 times 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 2. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So on the left hand side we have d plus 2 times 10 to the power d plus 2. And on the right hand side we still have 2 times 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 2. And of course, when we open these brackets, we have d times this, that is d times 10 to the power d plus 2, plus 2 times this, that is 2 times 10 to the power d plus 2. And this is equal to 2 times 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 2. Now, we can subtract 2 times 10 to the power d plus 2 from both sides of this equation. When we do that, this is going to take care of that. And we have d times 10 to the power d times 10 to the power 2. Of course, you know that 10 to the power d plus 2 simply means 10 to the power d times 10 to the power 2. And this is equal to minus 2 because that is all we have left on the right hand side. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will divide both sides of this equation by 10 to the power 2. And of course, when we do that, we have that d times 10 to the power d is equal to minus 1 over 50. Of course, you know that 10 to the power 2 is 100. 2 into itself is 1 and into 100 is 50. And at this point, I am sure that you already know that to solve this equation, we need to apply the Lambert W function. To do that, the first thing we are going to do is that we will rewrite 10. Now, remember that a to the power log to base a of b is equal to b. That means that e to the power log to base e of 10 is equal to 10. And of course, log to base e is simply ln. So, we can write this 10 as e to power ln 10. e 
to power ln 10 is equal to 10. And of course, we still have the exponent d. So this is d, and this is equal to minus 1 over 50. Now let us open this bracket. When we do that, we have d times e to the power d times ln 10. And this is equal to minus 1 over 50. Now, to make what we have before e the same as what we have in the exponent of e, what we have to do is to multiply both sides of this equation by ln 10. So when we do that, we have d ln 10 times e to the power d ln 10 is equal to minus ln 10 divided by 50. And of course, now that what we have before e is the same as what we have in the exponent of e, we can comfortably apply the Lambert W function to both sides of this equation. When we do that, on the left-hand side, we have d ln 10. And this is equal to the Lambert W function of minus ln 10 over 50. Now, using the calculator, minus ln 10 over 50 is approximately equal to minus 0.046. Here we have d times ln 10. Now, when you input this value into a Lambert W function calculator, we have several of those online. You get two values in return. We have that d times ln 10 is equal to minus 4.6066 or d times ln 10 is equal to minus 0 0.0484 and of course from here we have that d is equal to minus 4.6066 divided by ln 10 or d is equal to minus 0 0.0484 divided by ln 10. Now using a calculator, this is approximately equal to minus 2. And this is approximately equal to minus 0 0.021. And of course, now that we have found d, to find x, which is what we are looking for, we go back to this equation. We have that x is equal to 10 to the power d plus 2 minus 1. So when d is equal to minus 2, we have that x is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 plus 2 minus 1. Minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 10 to the power 0 minus 1. But of course, 10 to the power 0 is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So the first value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation is x equal to 0. Now the second value, we have 10 to the power minus 0 0.021 plus 2 minus 1. Now this is approximately equal to 95. 2.8 minus 1. And of course, 95.28 minus 1 is equal to 94.28. So the second value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation is 94.28. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and you can see more videos here.